here we go with what's new when it comes to China innovation. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and once again this is Arthur and we are back again with another wonderful video. If you want to see some updates about China innovation and advancement, then this video is for you. In this video, you will see some latest technological development and advanced innovation going on in the country. So without further delay, let's get started with our video. Number 1 is China launched first satellite for space-based gravitational wave detection. China plans to launch its first satellite to test the technologies of the space-based gravitational wave detection program Tianxin. The program Tianxin, meaning Harp in the Sky, was initiated by Sun Yat-sen University in South China's Guangdong province in 2015. It will consist of three satellites forming an equilateral triangle around the Earth. Number 2 is, China completes robot-assisted total hip replacement surgery. China's first total hip replacement surgery, assisted by a self-developed robot, was completed at the Beijing Jishui Tan Hospital. The patient of the surgery had suffered hip pain and limping for years due to the endemic Kaschin Beck disease, which resulted in severe abrasion and deformity of the hip joint. The robot dynamically analyzed the patient's anatomy as well as the spine hip relation and carried out the individualized surgery, planning exactly as planned according to the surgeon. Number 3 is, China's first Earth observation satellite helps build 3D maps. The China National Space Administration released the first batch of 3D images based on data from an Earth observation satellite. The surveying satellite Gaofen 7, capable of high precision mapping, will boost accuracy and create 3D maps. Number 4 is K Tunnel Dug through along Changdu Lanzhou High Speed Railway. After six years of construction, a tunnel along the Chengdu Lanzhou High Speed Railway was announced as dug through. Crossing the active fault zone of the Longmen Mountains, the 9,913 meter Mao Shan Tunnel, located in the Aba Tibetan and Chiang Autonomous Prefecture in southwest China's Sichuan Province, is one of the key projects and the most challenging part of the railway line's construction.
Number five is China successfully launched latest remote sensing satellite into space. China successfully launched a sub-meter class remote sensing satellite Jilin-1 into space on a long march 2D carrier rocket from the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center in the northern province of Shaanxi. Number 6 is Giant aircraft maintenance hangar put into use at Beijing Dashing International Airport. Number one hangar of China's Southern Airlines has been officially put into use. The aircraft maintenance hangar is Asia's largest in terms of span and construction area. It has a span of 405 meters with an area equivalent to 96 basketball court. Number 7 is Poverty Relief Project in Northwest China used photovoltaic power stations. China's Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region is advancing local poverty relief efforts with photovoltaic power stations in Xiji County, the final county of the region to be lifted out of poverty. Number 8 is China's first cross-strait highway railway bridge started to lay tracks. China's first cross-strait highway railway bridge, Pingtan Strait Bridge, officially started to lay its tracks in Fuzhou City of East China's Fujian Province laying a solid foundation for the opening of the Fuzhou Pingtan Railway. The Cross Strait Bridge has a six-lane expressway with a design speed of 100 kph on the top and a high-speed railway at the bottom, which is designed to support bullet trains traveling as fast as 200 kph. The bridge is scheduled to open in 2020. Number 9 is Snow Train Launched in Northeast China for Winter Tourism Northeast China's Heilongjiang province has extended train routes to the country's northernmost city of Moha in a move to boost winter travel in the province according to the local railway operator. The train, which travels 1,348 km between Suiwa in the middle of the province and Jagedachi in the northwest, has extended its route to reach Maha.
And that's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. day.